Hey everybody, this is Robert from SDParkFlyers.com. I thought I'd do a complete um, how to airbrush tutorial. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how I take a basic design, I cut out a template, I put the stencils on the airplane, I paint it so you guys can get a good understanding of what needs to happen. A real simple process. What I've started out with here is just a blank piece of paper and I wrote on the paper slow fly. So this is just regular an eight and a half by eleven piece of we'll say uh, printer paper. Now what I like to do is if you don't have any um, cardboard or you don't have any construction paper, take two pieces of paper like this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray a little 3M77 on this one and actually glue these two pieces of paper together to make a thicker page. So let me do all that and I'll cut this out and we'll go on to the next step. Okay so I've glued the two pieces of paper together to make it a little stiffer and as you can see here I cut out the words slow fly. Uh, this is going to be the positive white letters and then this is the exact cutout. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay the stencil onto the plane I'm going to do and I'm going to show you how we basically will airbrush around the letters and then we'll remove one template, we'll put the other template down and we'll do a little shadowing and we'll get a cool effect. Okay so what I'm going to do here is actually I'm going to paint a logo on a plane that I've already built to show you kind of what you can do. You can add logos to planes that you've already built what you would normally do is you'd want to paint all your logos and stuff on your plane before you put them together but I'm just going to cool, do this cool little graphic this is my uh, slow fly 28 and we're going to just paint the word slow fly on the underside of the plane on one half of the wing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out the master template and then I'm going to pin in place the letters so I can get them all in the correct positions and then I'm going to remove the out, outlining mask it so I can paint around the letters. So let me do that and we'll come on back again. Okay so what I've done here is I actually I used my template to get everything in the right position. What I actually did instead of pinning them I actually on back of all the letters I sprayed some 3M77 very very light mist so I've actually like glued these to the wing now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my airbrush and spray on this pattern and then once I've done that I'll come back and we'll move on to the next step okay so what I've done here is I actually just painted uh, like a little blue cloud or a little mist over the wing tried to get the darkest colors around the letters so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel off my letters to show you uh, what the kind of the effect I'm going for. I want some really really bright letters to pop off the wing so let me pull the letters off and we'll come back and show you the next part of the video. Okay as you can see here this is the effect I was going for kind of a blue misty cloud with a bright letters slow fly on the wing. So as you see just to do a basic template or a stencil like this pretty simple to do uh, doesn't take that long to do it. What I'm going to do in the next step is actually uh, part two. I'm going to go in and lay the template, the master template that I did, over the top of the work again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put some shadows in there. But this is the end of part one of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, send me an email, robert at sdparkflyers.com. Thanks much. And remember, just get out and fly.